Hi everyone, welcome to week 22 of Nutrition Bites. Okay, so today we are going to focus on cooking with grains. So we're gonna talk about the benefits of whole grains, getting to know the different types of grains, tips for adding more whole grains, some cooking tips, um, some options if you're gluten-free, and then some of my favorite recipes and the weekly challenge. Okay, so benefits of whole grains, they are super high in nutrients and fiber. They provide a good source of complex carbohydrates and they're great sources of B vitamins, iron, magnesium, and potassium. Uh, they contain both soluble and insoluble fiber, just in different ratios, depending on the grain. And it's the soluble portion that may help to lower cholesterol. Uh, the insoluble portion can help to support healthy digestion and overall just consuming whole grains is associated with a lower risk of heart disease and associated with maintaining a healthy body weight. So let's get to know our grains a little bit. There's lots of grains out there, but these are um, some more common options that maybe you haven't heard of, but are definitely worth trying. So we have barley, um, high in complex carbohydrates and low in gluten. It has a really nutty flavor and it's great to add to things like soup. Uh, bulgur, this is a quick cooking grain that's high in fiber and this is good for your traditional tabbouleh salad. Uh, corn, when you're looking to buy corn as a whole grain, you want to look for the phrase whole corn or whole grain on the package. Uh, this is highly perishable, so store it in the fridge or the freezer. Um, farro, this is a high fiber, high protein grain that's low in gluten, and it's great to add to salads. Uh, quinoa, this is a really popular one. It is a complete protein and it is gluten free. So this is a good uh, alternative to making porridge. Um, and then brown rice, this is another gluten free option, great for stir fries, grain bowls, and salads. Okay, so here are my tips for adding more whole grains into your diet. So start with breakfast. There are tons of different ways to make porridge with different types of grains, like I mentioned with oatmeal or quinoa or even rice. Um, the second tip is to choose the whole wheat alternative to white and refined products. Uh, you can also add grains, cooked grains to salads, to soups. You can blend oats into your smoothies. Um, and I recommend cooking one big batch of grains at the beginning of the week and then using it all throughout the week in your different recipes. Um, and then just experiment with different whole grains because you might find something that you never tried before, but you really enjoy. Okay, a couple cooking tips. So it's really important to rinse grains, especially quinoa before cooking to remove some of the bitter flavors. If you are preparing like a breakfast uh, porridge with quinoa, you really want to rinse it. Otherwise it's going to taste kind of bitter and not, you know, sweet like your traditional porridge. Um, you can also soak your grains if you want them to cook a little faster. And this can also help with digesting them. Uh, you can try dry toasting them before cooking. Um, and this will add more of a nutty flavor. Uh, make sure you simmer grains, not boil them. Uh, you can also cook them in low sodium vegetable broth to add some extra flavor. Uh, you can cook them in bulk to save time. Like I mentioned before, cook one big batch at the beginning of the week and use it all throughout the week in your recipes. And then this was a tip that I saw online, but I haven't tried. So maybe give it a try and see if you want your grains to be really fluffy, get the water boiling and have dry toasted the grains and then add them to hot water. So you're adding hot grains into hot water and this is supposedly will make them more fluffy. Okay, so if you are gluten-free, here are some whole grain options for you. Amaranth, buckwheat, millet, oats, uh, rice, sorghum, teff, and quinoa. Um, the oats has the asterisk by it because oats inherently are gluten-free, but oftentimes they are processed in plants that have um, gluten, other gluten products, so they could be contaminated. So you just want to make sure that your oats, if you are truly needing to be gluten-free, say that they are certified gluten-free on the package. Okay, so these are some of my favorite recipes with whole grains. Um, it, I didn't mean for this to happen, but they all involve quinoa. So three recipes with quinoa, um, which when it came out that way, I was like, hey, that's, you know, that's works. So I have a recipe for breakfast quinoa, um, a roasted veggie salad with quinoa, and then a black quinoa Asian coleslaw recipe. All right, so for the weekly challenge this week, I want to challenge you to try using a different type of grain this week. 
who knows, you might find your new favorite, something maybe that's easier to cook or something that the whole family enjoys. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week.